Hello everyone, it's Boston Blaisdell here. Happy to be back today for a jam-packed Second Life video for you all. This is one I've been wanting to do for a while because we are going to be getting neck deep into how to create your male avatar. I'm going to be showing you the full process for building your male avatar, starting with our system one, gorgeous Greg, and transforming him into Oslo Blaisdell. We're going to be covering heaps of stuff today, including a tutorial of how to apply your mesh body, the head, skin, add-ons, and providing loads of tips and recommendations, including affordable options for shopping, gifts, and discounts. I'll also be answering a few frequently asked questions, such as how to apply your body shine and fixing neck issues. And of course, throwing together some killer looks with hot new releases from Second Life creators. And today we've got a really exciting giveaway which I'm offering in partnership with Second Life Mesh Body Creator, Legacy. So one lucky winner will receive a Legacy Mesh Body of their choice. And this is of course open to all male and female Legacy Bodies in their range. So stay tuned because I'll be giving you all the details of how to enter. As always, I really appreciate all of the support guys. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I hope this will be a useful resource for anybody wanting the full tutorial for how to create your male avatar. I've been super efficient and included timestamps in the video. So after you've watched it, you can jump back in and skip to the section that you need just by hovering over the time bar. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you're subscribed for all of the goodies. All right, guys, so let's get into this. Welcome to Second Life. So I've just registered a brand new account so we can build this bad boy together. Greg is in need of some serious love. We cannot leave him like this. As much as I love these aggressive hands and creepy little FM radio, we need to fix this dude. I have been told by Linden Labs that they're going to be modernizing the onboarding experience and improving the starter avatars. Linden Labs, we love you. Please do not spare any any expense on this initiative, I guarantee there will be a much higher retention rate of beginners. By the way guys, I'm using the Firestorm viewer for this video. For me, it's just better for recording purposes, but I do sometimes use the primary Second Life viewer if I need to have two avatars on at the same time for my videos. And for photography, I use the Black Dragon viewer. Okay, so let's take gorgeous Greg shopping for our list of essentials. And our first stop is the Lelutka main store. Lelutka is, in my opinion, the best head creator for mesh heads in Second Life. There's other heads that you can purchase, including Katwa and Genus, but Lelutka is where it's at. They're really consistent with their updates. Customer support is always superb, and they partner with hundreds of creators to ensure that any add-ons that you buy, such as skins and facial hair, is compatible with their head. So there's a bunch of new release heads. All of the other ones have been updated as well, so you'll get the same package and functionality whichever one you go for. But the extent to which you can shape your head will differ for each one as they all have their own unique characteristics. Skylar is still one of my favorites. It's the first look head that I purchased when I joined Second Life. You can create different ethnicities and looks. It's a really versatile head. Demo and try everything on before you purchase. Just click on the sign and make sure that it says zero so you know that it's a demo. And once you're ready to buy it, just click on the box and pay the Lindens. So we're going to grab Skylar, Ford, Devon and Aeon head for this video. At the Lelutka main store, we can also buy our mesh body. Over here, these are guest vendors. So for male bodies, the most popular ones are Legacy, Belaser, and Signature. Today, we're looking at Legacy. Again, another favorite of mine. And with Legacy, there's a few options. You've got the original body, which is also named Masculine. There's an athletic body. And there is also a free male mesh body from Legacy. So if you're just starting out and you don't want to invest any Lindens, you can try that one out. The free body is available in a separate location. I will link it in the description. It doesn't have as many features and compatibility as the paid one, but still definitely worth checking out. But the one that we're going to be buying today is the Legacy Masculine Body, which costs 5,000 Lindens. Right, so next on the list is skins. I'll be showing you the ones that are included with the Lilutka head and Legacy body, but eventually you'll probably want to try something from a specialist skin creator such as Stray Dog, who have a huge range of hyper-realistic, beautiful skins. We're going to try on one of their new Evo X skins named Henrik. Head and body skins are always sold and treated separately, so we're going to get the body pack as well. And you'll want to make sure that you purchase the tone which matches the head. 
and of course ensure that it's the same body as well. So we're going for this legacy one over here. And as always, demos are your friend. Demo everything before you buy it. When I first started out, I would just walk around with demos on, try it in different lightings and different environments, just to make sure that it's definitely something that you want. We are also going to check out some shapes at the Tavoli main store. Shapes are optional. You can customize your own shape, of course, by editing your appearance and adjusting the sliders. But if you want a helping hand or a starting point, it's something for you to consider. So usually I get a shape and then I do some modification to it myself, which I'll show you in this video. We're going to be trying the Henrik Tivoli shape, which has been made for the stray dog skin of the same name. Shapes are always designed for one head. So in this case, Henrik is for the Lelucca Aeon head, which is the one that we purchased. And the shapes always come with a very detailed style card to show you everything that you need to purchase if you want to resemble the photo. Another essential is poses and animations. Greg is giving me awkward turtle vibes with this stand and walk. We need to address that. I usually pick up different animations and load them into a free AO, which is an animation overrider. My standing and breathing poses are mostly from Berus. They've got lots of cool and minimal poses and you can try them out at the store by standing on the pose stand. We're going to buy a couple of these packs for later and they do also offer a starter pack of breathing poses for 10 lindens. So if you don't want too much movement with your avatar, then breathing poses are really good to buy. We're also going to get a walking animation from Vista and you can purchase that individually. And then the free AO from Vista is in the middle of the store. It does come with instructions to explain how to load the animations into it. And then you can just wear it and leave it to do its thing in the background. All right, so let's get into the fun stuff. We're at somewhere a little bit more discreet so that we can get our pixel life together in peace. So we are going to unpack the legacy body. So firstly, go to your objects folder and add the one that says legacy mesh body special edition. Click keep and then that will create a separate folder in your inventory, which has everything that we need. And then once you've opened this up, you'll see a bunch of different items and I'll show you which ones we need to get started. So before we add our mesh body, we need to hide this Lego block body. And to do that, we're using an alpha. So we're going to use the one that's in the legacy pack. We will be changing this a little bit later on, but I just want to show you so that you can understand the concept for now. So the default avatar eraser, right click and add. And now we're left with this stunning 70s ensemble. So I'm going to go to my worn tab and I can see all of the items that I have on. Quick tip to remove multiple items, right click the name of the folder and then remove from current outfit. A few things are still going to remain since there always needs to be something present for eyes, shapes and base skin, but we will be replacing those later. Now we can add our brand new shiny mesh body. So we're going to click body legacy. Let's also add the HUD. The HUD is like the controller for configuring the appearance of the body. So choose the one that says edit upscaled. And the first thing I'm going to do using the HUD is to stop him annoyingly moving around. So at the bottom of the HUD in the first tab, there is a button to put him into a pose stand. I'm also going to put some underpants on him because headless nude avatars is frowned upon in Second Life. So within the legacy pack, there's a premium outfit folder. Just open that up and you'll find some briefs at the bottom. Let's whack those on to protect our modesty. And then back to the HUD, we've got three main menus on the left hand side. The middle tab is where we can make lots of configurations to our appearance. The first one here is the body skin. There's 12 starter tones included in the HUD. So when I first joined Second Life, I used the skins from the HUD for the first couple of months before I upgraded to buying bakes on mesh skins from places like Stray Dog and Not Found. All right, so let's get some head action. Unpack the Lelucca folder. I'm using the Aeon one to start with. So we're going to add the head, eyes, teeth, and also the HUD controller. Now, the reason nothing is appearing is because we're still wearing the default eraser alpha, which came with the body. We don't need that anymore. So we're going to swap it with the alpha, which comes with the head pack. We're going to use the one that says bomb head and body with applier eyes, and then just attach the default eraser that we put on earlier. Now, if you ever see this where your body looks insane, it's because the system avatar is colliding with the mesh body. So because we've switched our alpha to bomb body, we need to also enable bomb on the legacy body HUD. So click the three lines and then apply bomb. Like magic, everything goes in sync. 
It's now showing Greg's pasty skin and we are going to fix that soon when we apply our new body skin. Okay, so let's add the Leluka head HUD so that we've got that close by. And now we're going to apply the Stray Dog head skin. So let's unpack the box. And within the box, we've got freckles, frown, regular versions in here, all different versions of the skin. We are going for tone six and I'm choosing the freckles option. The head skin is looking butchered because it's on Evo mode and needs to be on Evo X mode since that's the version of the skin that we purchased. And this is the newer version of skins that have been released over the last few months. So we're just going to click on the Evo X button in the Lilo Kahad to get that into place. And by the way, guys, if you need more of a deep dive tutorial on how to use the Lilo Kahad, I do have a separate tutorial which goes through everything step by step. So check that out after this video if you do need more guidance. And we're swapping over to the shape that comes included with the stray dog skin and also the eyebrow shape. We are going to be changing the shape, but I just wanted to start off with this and it's already starting to look a lot better. I'm also adding the facial hair, which is a separate add-on with the skin. The Stray Dog one has different style options and you can either use one of the colors in the pack or apply the one which says white, which means that we can tint it to our own custom shade. So once you've added it, just right click the layer in your inventory, then click edit and choose the color that you like. Just by selecting from the color palette and you can see here, there's lots of different colors that we can go for. And we're also going to add one of the free hair bases, which comes included with the Leluka head. I'm unpacking the Evo X hair bases and if you open up the images, you can see the huge choice that we have. I'm going for number 38 just for a temporary look because we are going to be adding some more hair later. The next thing is to add the Stray Dog body skin. So when you unpack this, there's different versions included for hairy, freckled and tanned versions. Obviously make sure that your body is the same tone as the body skin. I actually swapped the face tone from six to five because I preferred the definition on it. So we're going to use a tone five for the body as well. And in the body skin pack, you can get different options, including hairy, freckles, tan, light hair, and those are all included in the single pack. We're actually going to go for the light hair version. And now I'm going to add the Tivoli shape, which we purchased earlier so you can see the difference. Just unpacking the box here, and once you open that, you've got the same shape with different bodies, Blazer, Legacy Athletic, Classic, and Signature. So all you need to do here is select the correct body shape, and I'm going for Legacy Classic. And I'm also selecting the brow shape since we're going to be changing our brows later to the ones that are recommended in the style card, which comes with the shape. This shape brings more maturity and size, which I'm really liking but I am going to make a few modifications to the body size just to make him a little bit leaner. So just right click your avatar, select appearance, edit shape, and then you can customize the sliders to your own preference. I'm just slightly lowering the size of the muscles and the pecs. You can also play with the body fat and thickness and the leg muscles. And just make sure that you save this separately from the original so that you've always got a backup. Just click save as and then rename it. All right, so Oslo is starting to look good, still a little bit basic and definitely needs some styling and upgrading. So let's have a look at the eyes, the windows to the soul. And upgrading your avatar's eyes can really make a big impact. So the Leluka ones look pretty good. You can change the color in the Leluka HUD, but if you want something a little bit more special, check out Aviglam eyes. They have some extra stunning eyes. These ones are named Paradise. You'll have the option to either use them as applier eyes for your specific head or as bakes on mesh. I personally always use appliers for eyes because I like controlling them from the HUD. This is the fat pack, so I'm just opening up the image to show you all of the colors. Remember that the alpha mask we're currently wearing is bomb body head with applier eyes. So just attach them and choose if you want right, left, or both eyes. The ABC represents the darkness of the sclera, which is the white of the eye. So C is the strongest and A is the lightest. And these just look super cool. You can see when I zoom in how hyper-realistic they look. And at their main store, you can join their group and they regularly have group gifts. By the way, all of their eyes are unisex. They're rigged in the same way for male and female heads. So don't be fooled by the gender of the person on the advert. We are all included. 
All right, and just before we continue, somebody actually messaged me asking me about this the other day. One thing you may see is this harsh neckline, which shouldn't be there if you're wearing a head and body skin with the same tone. So one thing to check is on the neck sub menu, these options can actually only be used if you have an applier skin and Evo Classic face skin. It's not compatible for Evo X. So if you've accidentally applied it, you can remove it by clicking the eraser button and then clicking neck fade and that should remove it. All right, so we're going to swap our eyebrows. The ones here are painted on the skin and we want to have a bit more adaptability. In the style card from the Tavoli shape, they recommend wearing some HD eyebrows from Creator Clever Language. So to do that, firstly, we need to swap our face skin from the brows version to no brows, then unpack the CL eyebrows. These ones are named Ragnib. There's six different versions here in black and also tintable options. I like eyebrows with a scar just to add a bit more character. So the benefit of HD brows is that they're applied onto the skin and then you can control them from the Lilith Kahut. So you can move the position of them, you can change the size, add more glossiness and intensity and also change the blend mode as well. You can use the free ones that are included in the Lilith Kahut and not buy additional ones, but I do prefer the shape of these ones from CL. And if you ever need to remove them from your face, just click the clear option on the HUD. Another quick body tip, a few things that we can do with the hands. If you want to change the nail color, just click on the button in the style tab, which looks like a nail. If it's not showing, just click on the three lines on the right. And here you can change the tones. Also the first tab in the legacy HUD allows you to control hand animations. So you can either isolate each hand by clicking left or right and choosing a static position, or you can click the play button to allow them to move more naturally in different positions. Another thing that people really get stuck on is how to apply shine to the body if you're wearing a bakes on mesh skin like we have on here. So the shine and bump options in the standard HUD are only going to work on the HUD applier skins, which we're not using. But in the Legacy Pack, there's another secret little HUD named the Advanced Material Editor. And this is what I use to add some body shine and glow. Now this is only going to work if we have advanced lighting enabled. So I'm just opening up the Preferences menu, clicking on the Advanced Lighting model. I'm also enabling shadows for some more depth. And I'm just going to reposition the sun from the personal lighting tab in the photo tools so it lands on the body and reflects the materials. To apply the shine, we just need to get this layer to turn white and for the glossiness slider to appear. Now this is a little bit buggy and a lot of people can't get this to work. I do sometimes need to mess around with this. We do eventually get there and you can see in the background the buttons that I'm clicking. Usually I have to force my body to reveal the system avatar by clicking the eraser button. Then go to the main legacy HUD, click on the apply bomb button. And once we've got the first single panel white and clicking on the bucket with the stars option, the glossiness slider should then appear and you can just simply increase it. So I'm just moving this up and down and you can see the difference that it makes to the body. There's also shine tint options if you want to add some more color. Just open up the color picker, choose from the vertical panel and then select the shade and click the tick button. So if this is too temperamental for you, there is a separate HUD being offered in a legacy community group, which apparently is a bit more reliable than this method. <laughs> I haven't actually tried that HUD yet, but I will put the details in the description. <sighs> All right, so let's get some clothing on. So every week there's a number of weekend sales where we can grab some bargains. One of my favorites is the Access Happy Weekend Sale, where you can get top items for 60 Lindens directly from the brand's main stores. And the menswear stuff is really increasing, which we love to see. Aerox are often in the weekend sales, a brand that I really like and feature a lot. This Rick outfit is a new release item, so it's currently full price, but I do love the understated tuck t-shirt and trousers look. When you buy clothing, always check the bodies that it's rigged for. Don't make the mistake that I did when I first joined and buy clothing which doesn't even fit Legacy. <laughs> Most creators do rig for Legacy now since it's one of the most popular bodies. A lot of clothing comes with auto hide scripting, so when you put it on, it should alpha out the parts of the body that are sticking through the clothing. But on the Legacy HUD, you can just click the panels to show or hide different sections of the body. 
This is the Ford 3.1 head by Le Lucca. And just following the same process as I showed you with the Aeon head, I've put this look together using the Loic skin by Stray Dog in tone eight. And this is a shape from Tivoli named Kivon, which looks really remarkable. The hairbase is a free one, which is included in a Le Lucca pack. And I've also picked up some hair from men's hair creator Modulus, which was in the 50 Linden weekend sale, which is a massive bargain. And at their store, they do have some free gift hair if you're just starting off and you want to save some cash. Gabriel are a high-end fashion brand in Second Life and one to add to your list of creators who produce top quality items. Again, they provide lots of affordable options such as this stadium jacket and pants, which was in the 50 Linden Friday sale. They also have a section in their store where they sell older release items for one Linden or 50% off. Most of those one Linden items aren't compatible with legacy bodies, but all of their new release items are perfect for legacy such as this off-shoulder jacket outfit, which I absolutely adore. They provide very urban chic clothing with impressive designs. Really gives you the opportunity to express your character through your avatar. Always looking forward to what they release each month. I've got two different looks here, one with and one without the undershirt. Here we're wearing a different look ahead. This is the Devon 3.1 head. And this is with a shape by Tavoli named Theo. As an alternative skin, this is Jerome by Not Found and it's in medium tone. The hairbase is by Volkston and this was also in the Access 60 Linden cell. The next outfit combination is from two trendy menswear stores, Thirst and Kalbach. The Thirst rider jacket is a superbly highly detailed piece which fits Legacy and Jake bodies. Really a store to check out on your Second Life journey if you're after alluring statement pieces to add to your wardrobe. Always on point with their creations and I love the vivacious colors that you receive since most items are sold as a fat pack so you can enjoy some head turning textures. And the jacket is paired with some jeans by Kalbach. Nice high street stylish clothing from them. Love the authenticity of the ripped detailing which exposes the mesh body underneath. Now, if you have a legacy Jake or Gianni body, these jeans will fit your avatar. It does come with two versions, which are either high cuff or regular cuffs, and there's optional briefs and a belt to add some more detail. Both Thirst and Kalbach regularly have items in the weekend sales, so you can drop by their main stores to check those out. And here we're wearing the Lelucca Skyler head. This is with a Tavoli shape named Levi and another skin from Not Found named Conan. And you've probably peeped my glasses. I got these from Bondi, which again were in the Saturday sale. I've paired this with these Hero Boots by Gucci. These are the Fat Pack Edition, which includes hundreds of color combinations. So when you add the customization HUD, you can control the textures of all the panels and just change the color by making the section green and then choosing the texture. Really fun. And again, Gucci are often in the weekend sales at their main store. These particular ones are currently full price at TMD, but depending on when you're watching, you may be able to grab a bargain. And final look is courtesy of EK. This creator sets such a high bar for contemporary, exciting and fashion forward pieces. This is an outfit named Hunter. It's currently at the TMD event, but it will be at their main store once the round has ended. And in the pack, you'll get versions for Legacy, Jake and Gianni bodies. Such a super cool outfit, I am obsessed. This is the same creator who designed the blazer jacket and shirt which Boston wore in a recent photo. And you guys were quite interested in that, so they definitely have a really holistic range of classic pieces alongside statement trendy looks. Really happy to be featuring more of their new releases on my channel, so definitely look out for those. Okay, so if you've stuck around, congratulations. Let's open this giveaway where one lucky person has the chance to win a legacy body of their choice. I've made this more simple than ever to enter, guys. Just simply leave a comment below. Say hi, don't be shy. Let me know if the video was helpful and if you put your Second Life resident name with the comment, I'll enter you into the draw and on a select date, I will be using a random comment picker powered by Buddy to choose a name who will be the winner and I will announce that on a YouTube post.
We don't require any personal information from you guys. All we need is your name in Second Life. You won't be asked to join any links or anything like that. So please don't click on anything. We just need to know which body you want and we will get that over to you. I'd also really appreciate it if you could share this video guys, especially if you think it would be helpful to somebody. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying my content. But that is all for today. In my description, I'll leave all of the landmarks and details and also the rules for the contest and make sure that you have a read of those before entering. Take care, everyone. Be good and I will see you soon.